we will see how to represent features here uh, we have a clause or sentence s1 it is a man and we have a cfg rule noun phrase give article followed by a noun so what this cfg actually stands for or what this production actually stands for it means that uh, if we need if we have a noun phrase we just need to find an article followed by a noun okay so if you see uh, this phrase s1 we have an article a which is followed by a noun man so this s1 can be easily be parsed or identified using this cfg uh, but suppose we need to mean something more than what is evident in this cfg maybe uh, some other things also we need to match through the cfg at that time you can add more features to the individual constituents of the cfg production uh, so we will see that uh, we will see how uh, the necessity that a should precede the man is included in this cfg as well as some other details are also included in this cfg so um, we are going to use features okay so the features here are represented in bold okay so the first thing first obvious thing that we need to represent here is uh, there should be the letter a followed by the word man to be so that uh, man so that s1 is a valid noun phrase so it means that uh, the article constant here it is labeled as art1 it should have a text as a followed by the noun constant here it is labeled as n1 it should have the text as man so uh, for the text feature is represented as a feature root okay so the root feature is used to actually represent text of a constant so if you have a cfg production np gives art gives n and if you need to mean that art should stand for the text a and an should stand for the text man what you can do is for art you can induce the feature root and the value of that feature can be kept as a similarly for an you can introduce a feature root and its value can be kept as man and uh, here there is also another important thing represented that is uh, a is singular as well as man is singular okay so the singularity or plurality of a particular constant is indicated using another feature known as number okay so here the article a is singular right so that is indicated using the number feature of art1 constant and that feature value is standing for singular similarly for man which happens to be the second constant n1 it is again singular so its number feature is again singular okay so this is how we represent a feature in augmented grammar